everyone, this is Amira from Amira's Beauty Channel. Thank you for tuning into today's video and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't yet already, please subscribe and um, let me know in the comments below what you think of what you're seeing here. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get started. Today's video is a very special one, um, very near to my heart. Uh, if you have been following me, I've already done a, a a previous video on my very first purchase from ZC Cosmetics and this is my second time purchasing something from them. ZC Cosmetics is based out of China and uh, my understanding is they are they do not test on animals there they're not required by law to test on animals so they are considered cruelty free I guess. But this is a Chinese brand. Um, uh, I my previous video I was not very clear on all the information about this brand but now I know a little bit more anyway I will link the website from where you can purchase these from and I think they also have an Amazon store now because I found them on Amazon and if you are a Prime member in the United States it's really easy and fast for these items to get here I ordered these from China and oh, from their website and it, did, it gets shipped from China. They offer free shipping to the US. It took about two weeks for this to get here, I think, yes, and arrived in perfect condition. I wanted to show you guys up close, you know, and personal what these look like first before I swatch them. And yes, today I am going to swatch at least three of the items out of four. Um, from this collection. In my previous one with the eyeshadows and the lipsticks, I just couldn't bring myself. Um, but I've, you know, I have been working on trying to swatch them for you guys. So stay tuned. I am going to post a video with the three Alice in Wonderland palettes swatches and we're going to swatch them together and the there's two lipsticks from before which I have not yet decided if I am going to or not. But you never know, my mind can change any time. It's just they're so beautiful and you'll see what I mean. It's difficult to swatch them. All right, enough rambling on, let's get started. First things first, this is the one item I'm not planning on swatching yet. This is their, what is this called again? So, all right, so this here, now here's one of the problems I have is that nothing is in English. The name, ingredients nothing is in English so that makes it a little hard for English speaking people I guess if you don't know the language um, it's all in Chinese this everything I have here today is from their palace identity collection and um, this is their palace identity hippogriff transparent compact powder is what it's called this is the very pretty outside box with a hippogriff on here. This is what the box looks like. Let's open this up and there is, first things first, there is a little powder puff which I haven't opened yet. And there is a little black sleeve in here you take it out from and they've put the actual powder inside this velvet little pouch. It is a stunning package. It says, well, this costs 38 US dollars. The shade it says is T01 transparent. It's the only shade. And it says on here, its description is the inspiration, the nobles in ancient China used a variety of plant essences before applying makeup, is what it says. Then it says it's transparent, it won't smudge your face mask. Blends flawlessly, lightweight mineral powder adapts to your skin tone for a natural look. Silky smooth formula and it won't clog pores. And then it says it's cruelty free. The only thing is there are no ingredients mentioned anywhere on the website either. Anyway, let's... It is a beautiful, beautiful powder. 
that's your hippogriff and I hope it's showing up on the camera there is a luminosity a shine to this it's a beautiful pattern it says palace identity on here it's very simple and it's nice and weighted and I mean, it feels luxury in the hand and then there's a little dangly thing the way you open it is you push this in and then you lift the top off this is a mirror that i'm keeping covered for now it's very pretty next is the palace identity peony blush retails for 32 dollars and it's in the shade b01 although this is the only shade i've seen so far and then product details Use mid-tone shade as a blush, deep tone shade to contour, lightest shade to highlight. Doesn't really work that way for me though. I don't think I can actually um, contour with the shade that's included in here. Anyway, let me let me show you guys the outer box. Red and gold, very pretty. Also, again, this one has the black velvet pouch in here. And this compact is exactly like the Hippogriff uh, powder compact. So you can see they are essentially exactly the same. Sorry, there we go. Has the same little dangly thing. Push and left like that. And here is the beautiful blush. So as you can see, there's three shades. There's a white shade, uh, you know, like a, um, I wanna say, uh, this is their mid-tone blush that they've mentioned. And then this is their deeper shade. To me, this is a blush as well. This is a blush blush. This is a golden overspray. And then this is the white that you can mix in to customize the shade. I do not believe I want to. I could use this as a contour, and I'm not planning on. But this is a very beautiful blush, you guys. That's what it says on the back. All right, let's move on to the two lipsticks which I plan on swatching for you guys today. So these are the two lipsticks and these are known as the Palace Identity Chinese Dragon Lipstick. Again, everything is on in Chinese. The good news is that they've put down like um, dates on here. I think these are expiration dates. Uh, 2024, I think, is when this expires. So I have a lot of time. Uh, there's a little mini sticker on these. It just says the name and the product. Okay, there is some English here and it says Gilt Gold Dragon Velvet Lipstick in M10. That's the name of the shade. Um, yeah, here we go. Same thing on this one. This one is M11. The two shades I got are M10 and M11. Let's, let's, um, let's open this together. So here is the box. So here is the box for the lipstick. Palace Identity. It's very soft and smooth. There's a little black tab here that you pull out. And inside, there is a golden paper on here. And I believe this says Gold Dragon on it. Very pretty. One new addition I'm seeing this time is the pouch for the lipstick. The previous two lipsticks I got did not have the pouch but these actually come with a pouch to store your lipstick in and this is the pretty dragon lipstick it's very pretty comes out of the box and yes this is the shade m10 m10 is called nude apricot this is i think their nude lightest nude shade that they had in the collection that i was excited about let's take it out this is the reason why i don't want to swatch these like breaks my heart to swatch these lipsticks just look at this it's so pretty oh my goodness there's a dragon on here then on the back i think there's like a moon i mean it's just stunning isn't it 
This is their nude shade and it's in the shade M10. I will swatch this after I open up the other lipstick too. Here is the shade M11, which I believe is called just reddish brown. Same sleeve in here, same black pouch. And this comes out. Same exact lipstick. This is a dark reddish brown shade as they describe it. How pretty, huh? Yeah, I know. Here's a close up of both lipsticks together. Now let's do some swatches on these. These are the kind of shades that I think I would wear more, um, which is why I'm gonna swatch these. These are supposed to be matte, I think. That was M10. Then this is M11. It's a very smooth formula and I think I like these two shades a lot. These work out really nicely for me. All right, let's do the blush. Hang on, is this the blush? No, this is the, this is the powder, the shiny powder that I don't wanna to touch yet. But here is the actual blush. And I'm not gonna to touch the overspray, but I'm gonna to touch other areas to show you guys. This is the darkest shade. This is the mid-tone shade. And then this is the highlighter shade. The highlighter shade is not shimmery or anything, as you can see. All right, I hope this video was a helpful one. Um, I hope the swatches were helpful and will help you make a decision if you want these or not. I have not yet put these lipsticks on myself, so I can't really speak for how they feel on the lips. So when I apply it in my arm, it is a very soft and smooth formula. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys back again really soon. Until next time, this is Amira signing off. Bye now.